46 freighters sunk by German submarines in the Indian Ocean in the past month. Look, damn it, we've got to get rid of that transmitter. Do you know how many lives depend on supplies that are lying at the bottom of the Indian Ocean? I think our first priority is to find whoever heads the spy ring. What do you want, senor? I want you to use your influence to persuade the governor to have a reception. Among the invited guests will be every port official from Marmagoa. <laughs> with killing Trompetter and a fat lot of good it did us. We did find out that the transmitter's on the errand field. I'd like to go into that harbor with commandos and blow the whole filthy place up, but we can't, which is rather frustrating. What if a group of British civilians managed to board the errand fields? And which civilians did you have in mind? The Calcutta Light Horse. Lewis, you're talking about a mixed bag of boozing, middle-aged, pot-bellied businessmen. It's insane, and you know it. Are you expecting my men to volunteer without having the faintest idea what they're volunteering for? Right. Unfortunately, Bill, there'll be no pay in it. No pensions if anyone's killed or wounded. And no credit. It all sounds unbelievably attractive to me. Love it. Now, those of you who are selected will leave in about seven days. What are you doing? Just turning up. You'll be gone for two weeks. Mr. Melbourne. Oh. Are you all right? Get out! I think it's best if you tell your wives you've been ordered up to round shift. Going to ranch him. Oh, don't be ridiculous. It's another woman, isn't it? We still have that date. That is the best idea I've heard all day. We're actually stealing an entire ship, and all I get is five light horse for crew plus three hired Laskers. We are not stealing the Queen Mary. Then you bring the others across by train to coach in. And for a grand finale, we sail right into Marmagoa Harbor and blow up everything in sight. How long have you got on those mines? A couple of minutes, maybe. 